The Eastern Arizona Museum and Historical Society, along with several other volunteers, took advantage of picture-perfect weather and helped make the annual event a success. The smell of pancakes, scrambled eggs, bacon, and Dutch oven biscuits prepared from scratch permeated the air and led the goers to eagerly line up for the traditional breakfast at the William Carter Farm. Hey, thank you, buddy. Okay. You're the man. They're learning and finding all of the old antique farm items that are here in the museum. Well, there's a lot of those. There are 43. 43. Well, there's more than that, but there's 43 on the scavenger hunt list. You girls want to say why, why we should support the museum here? Um, oh, because it's a wonderful way to support our community and celebrate our heritage. Well, what's your favorite part about Heritage Days? Um, we enjoy coming and looking at the exhibits and just seeing people that come from out of town. <laughs> this morning's been a great turnout, and again, the weather really cooperated. It's beautiful. And why, uh, why is this so near and dear to your heart? That's an unfair question. <laughs> So many people that worked many years that we could bring this to what it is now. And it's just a good thing to teach the kids about their heritage. And as adults, we appreciate our heritage. We're grateful for everybody that has made this possible. We look forward to it every year. It is our major fundraiser so that we can keep the museum open and running. We do have um, utility bills and upkeep and so on. Um, all of our workers that uh, help keep it open, everything is volunteer. We have no paid employees. And that includes everything here today too, right? All the cooks Absolutely. and everything that went into cooks, making this. Even the cooks come and buy their own breakfast and so on. And all the servers last night and the workers all paid for their own barbecue dinner. And uh, it takes so many people to put an event like this on. What about the, the talent that you got here performing for everybody? Uh, Ralph Smith is a, a local guy that's been playing for years and, and we're sh very grateful for him. And uh, Kim Skinner and her group of uh, violin or fiddle players from the Discovery Plus Academy here in Pima came to play. And uh, we're just very grateful that they would come and do this for us because people really enjoy this type of music.
This has been John Johnson reporting from the Pima Heritage Days for the Eastern Arizona Courier.